Okay, so this is our last of our beginner level West Coast swing. Um, we're gonna take a pattern that we have done before for all of you in the beginner level, but we're gonna kind of jazz it up just a little bit. And last week what we did was we did an underarm pass with a hand change, right? So we led the lady for a walk, walk, trip, full step, we changed hands and we faced 90 degrees off of our partner, right? So if I'm perpendicular to the camera and I am the man doing this underarm pass, I am doing one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And then from here, I have a whole plethora of options to do, right? And girls part, our part on that pattern doesn't change. We're doing walk, walk, run on through, and anchor step. So. We're not doing anything with that, but now what's gonna happen after that is the man now has a handshake hold with the lady. Our right side pass, which is what this is going to be. Normally we have not changed hands and we lead the lady by the right side pass, but we're doing this hand change, okay? And what's going to happen is here's the track that I'm standing on, my partner's over there perpendicular to me. Normally we step off the track and lead our partner by. We're gonna do a little jazzy little move right now. And what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna do a lunge to the side on one. We're gonna pull back on count two. And that's while the lady's walking through. We're gonna do our triple step in place, switch hands, and then go to our anchor step. So from this right side position, we're gonna do one, two, three and four, five and six. Girls, your part is not gonna change for this except for the fact that the man's gonna be doing the hand changes, but you're not in charge of the hand changes, you don't have to worry about that, but it is you, you know, just being with the fact that he's changing hands. Now girls, one of the options on your part on this pattern is we talked about that side cross action in the pass of doing one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So this would be an ideal place for you to do that when the man does his pull and slide, right? So the man's doing a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. The lady is doing one, two, three, and four. So she's doing a bit earlier turn so she can kind of play with the man as she goes by. A couple of important things about this pattern. I want you to watch this hand. Let me just get an object here so I can show you what I'm doing. This is one of the more important aspects for us as the man on this. So here's my partner's hand, right? That's where I've got a hold of her, right? It's right there. So I want you to watch where my hand goes as I do this lunge. Pretty much nowhere. In other words, I'm not taking the hand with me because that would, in essence, make the lady try and take this big a step. And we don't want the lady to take any different size step than she normally takes to begin a pass, which is a very small placement of the foot in front of the body. It's not a big walk. We're not encouraging her to do that walk. So we're creating an illusion of one, two. Now what's going to happen is it's going to go one. I had this big step, the lady took a small step. Count two. I've slid back to my foot, she's done her second walk, so it looks like we're really flying by each other at this point in time. She does the side cross as she's coming by to, to flirt or play with him, and then we have our anchor at the end, right? Now if you got a bar stool at home, you're good to go. You can practice both parts. It's much easier to do the man's part than it is the girls of the, girls of the bar stool. So again, it's one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So that is our um, right side pass with the lunge draw, right? And gentlemen, the, the better you get at leaving this hand still, quiet, peaceful, in the same place in space, then you can really exaggerate what you're doing because it doesn't, it's not pulling the lady with you. You will see some movement on this hand when I'm, when I'm really loading it up because of course the lady is walking, right? But I'm not pulling her, I'm not retracting the arm. If anything, 
I'm fairly close to the lady here, so I can make a big move away. If I'm a long ways away from her, that's about all the further I can move before that and starts following me across the floor. So when I know I'm gonna do this lunge, as the lady comes by for the underarm pass, I keep her fairly close to me so that I have room to make that action happen. Okay, so this pattern was really more about the guys as far as changing actions. But again, girls, you know, there's so many things you could do, right? When you do the walk, walk, and you're going by this, you could tickle the man under the chin. I'll, I'll do it from the other direction. So, uh, yeah, here's my man, right? So here's what you want to get, girls. His first move goes there, his second move goes there. So in essence, in those two counts, just like normal, when he steps back and back, he hasn't gone anywhere, right? So here I am, the lady, man's taking me by. One, he does his lunge away from me. Two, he comes back. You can play with him under the chin and tease him a little bit and then move that action away from him. So it's still the same basic action, but there's more interaction, more interplay between the lady and the man on that, all right? So that is our last beginner West Coast swing class of this month. I hope you guys are gonna join us for our real live in-person classes starting next Monday, June 1st. Thanks guys. Thank you so much this month and the last couple months for participating in these online class classes. I appreciate the fact that you've helped support the studio with this. It's been a huge help and, we, and it really is appreciated from both Samantha and I. So thank you guys very much. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.